Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Rebecca and today I have eight beautiful DIY centerpieces. These are gonna be perfect for spring centerpieces, summer centerpieces, um, centerpiece ideas that you can use any time of the year. You can customize for different holidays. You can dress them up for a Valentine's idea. So just some really fun and easy Dollar Tree DIY centerpiece ideas. I love how they came out. I think I'm gonna save my favorite one for the end. So it's really tricky because like, I love the first one. So many in here are just so beautiful that I really liked. Um, and it was really hard to pick a favorite. Maybe I'm enjoying it the most because it's currently in my office and I really love it. So I'm gonna say that that's my favorite one. That is the one I'm saving for the end, but I think you guys are gonna really enjoy all of these. And especially even if you're looking for like wedding centerpiece ideas, the first couple are really perfect. If you're looking for a wedding centerpiece DIY idea, I think you're gonna really enjoy these. There's gonna be a giveaway later on in the video as well. So stay tuned for that. So let's go ahead and get started with the first DIY that I have to share with you. So this one is kind of a redo on one that I did back several months ago. I took two candle holders and two bowls from Dollar Tree and I glued the candle holders to the bottom of these bowls. Now, what we're gonna actually do is take these two sets that I made and I'm gonna glue the two candle holder parts together. So I basically have an upside down bowl with one of these candle holders on top of that, another candle holder on top of that, and then another bowl right side up sitting on top of that candle holder. So this really makes a nice kind of pedestal raised taller floral arrangement which i think would be so beautiful in your home as a centerpiece as a statement piece it would also make a really really beautiful wedding table centerpiece i think this is just so stunning and gorgeous and definitely it looks way more expensive than a dollar tree piece now i already painted these over white but what i did come back and do was take some fabric paint just some white puffy paint which you can get in Dollar Tree this one is a larger bottle that I actually got on Amazon but you can definitely use the puffy paint from Dollar Tree you're basically gonna just make some designs on here if you want to get the look that I made just make some different swirly designs kind of like a floral swirly pattern to do that I basically made some large s shapes and smaller s shapes also some little v's v shapes and some dots and then off of the larger s shapes you basically kind of make some little curly c's coming off in both directions and hopefully that kind of makes sense just have fun with this i think it just added a really cool texture but once all this was glued together i did go back and just give it a little bit of another coat of white chalk paint just to really touch everything up and make it really fresh and bright and cover up any glue that might have come through. I'm gonna add some floral foam now into that top bowl. And in order to make this stay in place, I used hot glue on the corners of the floral foam because the bottom of it doesn't actually connect with the bottom of the bowl. It sits with the four corners touching the bowl. So I used glue there to pop this in. This amaranthus is the first thing that we're gonna go ahead and use. And I would get them in either a white or a green color. I'm gonna make this flower arrangement really neutral. I cut off each individual flower part and then bent the stem around kind of like a C, hooked that, like made it like a little hook shape and stuck them in around the edges of the, the top of that floral foam block and just kind of tried to space them out evenly but this way they're kind of coming out the top and then they're angled downwards so they really will hang down you could take a look while you're in the store side note here <laughs> take a look at the flowers on these and try to get ones that aren't too bent some of them are really beautifully shaped and then other ones look like they've spent too much time crumpled up in a cardboard box somewhere so try to get ones that have a good shape if you can but they're somewhat flexible for you to bend them but if you can find some that you know hang more nicely um, that will help you now I'm gonna add some beautiful white lilies in here I got a pack of those from Dollar Tree um, one or two bouquets of those and then another bouquet or two I think this was freesia 
Um, I don't know if that's actually what this is, but anyway, I'm going to use some of those in the center to give it a little bit more height, fill in with the lilies all around that. And I also use some of that freesia, some sticking up in the center, and then other ones I basically put in on an angle so that they're sticking down. So they kind of look like they're hanging down in the arrangement. And I have plenty of flowers cascading down. It's so beautiful. I spaced them in between that amaranthus and this just came out so, so stunning. I really, really love this one. I mean, definitely this could easily be one of my favorites, but like I said, I think I'm saving my favorite one for the end. It was very hard to choose a favorite. Let me just say, I really liked how most of these came out. I, I love how they came out. So anyway, here's how this one looks. Let me know where you would put this one in your home or if you would use it for a wedding because I think this would make a fantastic wedding table centerpiece. Okay, we are on to the next one and this one I want to give you guys an idea here so to make this from Dollar Tree they have this little white pedestal candle holder and then you could glue one of these floral foam pieces on top of that and then glue a glass candle holder on top of that and that would work but I wanted to get this with a little bit more height so I'm actually doing it using one of these narrow glass vases from Target now I think it was just a dollar or two in Target so it's not going to cost you much more to make but it's a little bit taller and more narrow. Dollar Tree does have one like this but it's much wider so that's up to you. It could totally work. Um, Dollar Tree does have the 7 inch and the 9 inch clear glass vases so lots of options for doing this. I glued on this round floral foam piece on top of it and then I glued the round glass candle holder on top of that. So we are going to completely fill in the floral foam on here now and to do that you can take any sort of greenery, any kind of hanging greenery. You could use the amaranthus that Dollar Tree has that hangs down. You could use um, any of their ivy pieces. I actually already had a couple bunches I only needed like half of the bunch but I had a couple bunches of these green fern pieces and I thought this just looks so pretty so I decided to just cut off pieces of this greenery that I already had it is originally from Amazon I've had it for a few years but I'm gonna stick that in all the way around leaving plenty of spaces in here now to fill in with some other flowers so the rest of my flowers are pink and peach colored roses from Dollar tree along with some white hydrangea and I'm just gonna cut off those and stick them in here I did trim off the end of these ferns just so that they wouldn't be dragging on the ground or on the table <laughs> um, I wanted them to just come down close to the table but not quite be dragging on it but you just pop a candle in here now and I think this is so so pretty this would be another fantastic wedding centerpiece you could for sure use this anywhere in your home or as a table centerpiece but it would really be some very beautiful wedding table decor and make the perfect wedding centerpiece. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And for this one, I actually had a particular planter in mind from Dollar Tree that I wanted to use and I could not find that one. However, I went to Goodwill and I found this glass jar. It looks like it's missing a lid or something. I don't know what went with this, but I found it just standalone by itself for $1 at the thrift store and it's gonna work perfectly, but definitely just know Dollar Tree has lots of planters, especially as we go into the springtime. So you could find one with the texture that you like and then spray paint it. So that is what I'm gonna do. I cleaned off this glass really well so it is clean and dry and then we're going to go ahead and spray paint it now to do that i'm going to use some navy blue i think this is going to be really pretty because 
My mom uses a lot of blues in her spring and summer decor. She has this navy color a little bit throughout her house. So I wanted to do something that she'd be able to use. And I think it'll be really cute as a centerpiece or something she could even put over on her hutch or somewhere in her kitchen. I'm gluing this floral foam on the top of the opening for this jar now that the paint is dry and then around the edge where it looks like a cap should go on or something we're gonna actually just completely cover that part with a little bit of nautical rope i glued that on there and then that covers it up and now the floral foam part we're just gonna fill in all the way around and stick in all of our flowers so you could use any flowers that you want if you want this to look more high end i definitely recommend checking out some of the peonies that are on amazon they're good price and they look so beautiful and real i'll leave a link for some of my favorite ones down below but I'm using Dollar Tree florals for this one right now today. And if you can get navy colored roses, that is what I actually really wanna put in here. So I may end up coming back and switching mine out at some point in the future if I can find like a deeper navy colored rose or something like that. But I don't have any right now and I didn't find any when I was in Dollar Tree. So I'm just going with the flowers that I already had on hand, which are these white hydrangea along with some blue flowers. They kind of look like lilac to me i don't know what do you think these are they look like a blue lilac and I, the blue is a really nice color the only thing i'm not totally sold on keeping in here are the light blue glittery berries they are part of dollar tree's easter collection and i'm just not really sure if they look good i mean i think they do look really cute for spring for easter time but with the glitter on them i think they almost make it look a little bit cheaper because of the glitter. I think it would look more realistic and more high-end if I used a little bit more expensive of a flower or maybe just at least, you know, skipped the ones that have glitter. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Moving on to the next one, I'm taking four of these wooden crates from Dollar Tree. I actually had these set on my counter for my coffee bar back over the holidays and we are just going to glue these together end to end. I actually already gave them a little bit of um, a little bit of a stain with some antique wax back over the holidays and now we're gluing them all together and we're going to use them for our centerpiece now and this is going to turn out as a beautiful centerpiece to use throughout spring and summer so let's go ahead and add some floral foam in here i did this with just a single one dollar block of floral foam i got the rectangle size one and i cut it lengthwise and then i cut those um, two pieces in half vertically so i cut the whole thing horizontally in half and then i cut them again like vertically in half if that makes sense so i got four pieces out of that one dollar block of foam and that was enough to stick in here if you want to make it like a little extra secure you could definitely use a little bit of hot glue in the bottom i did not just because who knows you know six months from now i may be making a completely different thing out of this so I, I don't plan to move them around and the foam is staying in place so you don't really have to glue it but you know if you really want to by all means make it more secure add hot glue in the bottom <laughs> but I had some of this lamb's ear. Sometimes just use what you already have. And since I already have this lamb's ear left over actually from over a year ago, I had used it in our Christmas tree and I haven't known what to do with it since then. So I'm gonna use it cutting the pieces in half here so that I can kind of get more pieces out of it and stick them in kind of around the outside edge of this arrangement. And then I'm gonna fill in the center with these light pink peach colored roses from Dollar Tree. I was actually thinking of mixing in a brighter pink. I thought that would be really pretty, but then I actually started second guessing myself on that because sometimes I just think when you go with a one color flower, it, it just looks more high end to me. And so I felt like this arrangement looked a lot more high end when I just went with one color for the roses. So I'm still kind of second guessing if I want to go back and add in another brighter, darker, pink color or if I should just leave it with this one shade of light pink peach color. I do just really feel like 
using one color sometimes just feels so much more high-end and classy and even though the flowers are really cheap and inexpensive it looks a lot more high-end anyway here is how this one turned out i tried it out on our dining room table and i think it looks so beautiful for spring i think this is just a classically beautiful spring table centerpiece however it also makes a really beautiful piece to put up on a mantle or over for the fireplace and I think I'm actually going to be using it throughout Valentine's Day and into spring right now I have it up on the mantle so let me know do you like it better on our dining table or on the mantle either way I think it is a beautiful spring centerpiece and you could definitely switch out your flowers to a different color if you want something brighter a brighter color for a summer table centerpiece it is super versatile and beautiful Moving on to the next one, this is actually a kind of a remake for spring based on a centerpiece that I made several months ago that I used over the holiday season. Now to do this, I took this one long sign from Dollar Tree. They have different ones for every season, so just use whatever you can find. I'm going to glue this kind of um, face down on top of these three wooden blocks. So Dollar Tree has a lot of new things in their wood and craft supply department apartment and I used one at each end and then one in the middle for support and glued them under the sign. Now on the top part I wanted to make this look more like real wood so you could actually paint on here and just create like paint the lines to make it look like wood. Um, I decided to actually go all out and take some jumbo wooden popsicle sticks i think they actually call them wood craft sticks and i got them in um, walmart actually but you can also use the jumbo popsicle sticks that dollar tree sells i cut the ends off of these and then cut them in different lengths to glue them on i just hot glued them on here but you will have to work with it a little bit just to get all your pieces the same size and then glue them on and then i just brushed on a little bit of antique wax and use that to give me a a kind of a light wood stain effect so i really really love how this came out i think it came out so beautifully and it's something that you can dress up and decorate and embellish throughout the year for whatever holiday or season. So this centerpiece is going to be actually now very versatile because I decided not to use any flowers on here. So this is not a spring or a summer or holiday centerpiece. It's really an any time of year centerpiece. So a really, really easy DIY. Once you make this center wooden piece, the rest is just a piece of cake. I collected a bunch of little votive holders, candle holders, little glass jars. These are all from the dollar store. So they're basically in the colors that I have around the house. I, I've just got this arrangement of kind of earth tones and it's very eclectic. This is such a unique and eclectic centerpiece, but it is an extremely easy DIY table centerpiece to make. And it is super versatile as a center piece that you can use year round. So I think this one is really cool and it is actually the one that I have on my table right now currently at the moment as we speak. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. I'm taking one of these 12 inch chunky slat pieces of wood here from Dollar Tree and then I've got two of these um, flatter 12 inch pieces. So they're like half the thickness of the other one. They are going to be our side pieces. The other one, the thick one is the bottom one. And then I've also got two of these little wooden squares and those are going to be our ends. In order to attach them, I'm gonna use a combination of a little bit of wood glue and a little bit of hot glue. I glued those squares on top of that thick piece of the 12 inch thick piece of wood. I glued them on top of it at each end, just centered on there. And now I'm gonna take these narrower 12 inch pieces and glue them to the sides. You could do them in the middle. I decided to actually do them toward the top 
of the squares so that everything would kind of just be in line and just line up really evenly and nicely. And it makes this little wooden crate. You could leave it plain, but you guys see I've been using my antique wax here. I dilute it with a little bit of water. I wanted to give it a little bit of a deeper, richer color as well and create kind of the dimension that you want in the wood where you want darker or lighter areas. And I think it just, it looks really cool. So I'm gonna take three glass vase from Dollar Tree, three of those. And I was, again, undecided on the flowers. Sometimes I see several options that I really like. We're gonna go ahead and start here with the Lark Spur. I ultimately decided these were my favorite. And I'm gonna mix in some of this other one. Let me know if you know the name of it because I don't know what these little pink budded the, the little pink berry buds. I don't know what this is, but um, it's not really necessary. I think the arrangement looks really beautiful as is, but if you want to add in the extra little pink flowers, I think those do look really nice. Just, I think this turned out really good. If you want to make it look more realistic, you can obviously add some water into your vase and that's going to just take it to a whole nother level. This makes a really beautiful piece to put in your entryway or on your dining table, somewhere in your kitchen. I decided to actually use it over on the coffee bar with my Valentine's Day decor. It's gonna be so beautiful, especially for Valentine's Day centerpiece decor and spring centerpiece ideas. I just, I think this one could go for sure with any Valentine's or spring decor. So for this centerpiece, I'm going to add some candles in our glass jars here. I love these battery operated LED candles. We're going to fill in with greenery around these so it's not going to be super obvious that this candle doesn't come all the way to the bottom. I'm using my wood cutting board as a base for this arrangement, which you could do on your dining table, but because ours is wood, I thought the color was too similar to the wood board. So I think it would look good if you did this on a table or something that was a different color and not necessarily on wood, just, just so you have like a little bit of a contrast here. So I'm gonna try to style some of these amaranthus. I have a couple of these from Dollar Tree and we'll see if we can just kind of style them out here. You can make them go opposite directions if you're using this in the center of the table. I pull in some other ferns or greenery from Dollar Tree. So I actually ordered a case and I have a whole bunch of these right here. Layer some of these in here and we're gonna have lots of greenery and just make this pretty lush for spring. And we'll figure it out as we go, just really like whatever looks good to you. So I'm gonna kind of tuck the ends in, in the middle by the candles and then just kind of let all the greenery come out from there. This part is optional, but I was also thinking of filling in with some of these little glitter berries. They might be a little bit over the top because there's glitter. Maybe you wanna stick with something more neutral, plainer, simpler. By all means, I totally get that, but I wanna just kinda tuck them in and just see how it looks. Totally optional, but I've got one more of these little greenery and I'm just gonna lay this in the back here. Just wanna fill that in a little bit more. And here is how this one came out. So we've got those stickers on the glass, which my mother-in-law saw and she thought I had actually painted on the glass. So I think that until you get close up here and see that it's um, a sticker where you can kind of see the edge, when you actually just look at this a little more from a distance, it looks like there's like it's painted glass. And so I think that looks really, really cool. The candles bring it all together. I think the greenery makes a really beautiful, stunning springtime display and arrangement. You could pop in some Easter eggs if you're using it at Easter time, add some pink or red flowers in if you wanted it to be more of a Valentine's Day arrangement. Um, but you know, I think this works for spring and for summer, and it's just really pretty and easy to do. Simply taking some candles you may already have around the house and using some Dollar Tree florals and greenery. Just a really simple, versatile centerpiece to make on a cutting board, which most of us have a cutting board. And if you don't and you get one for your centerpiece, at least it's a piece that you can reuse different times of the year.
let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And I can't say that I saved the best for last, but I maybe saved one of my favorites for last. I really, really love how this one came out. I think you guys are gonna love it too. So you'll need three of these wooden trays from the dollar store. I am gonna glue them together using wood glue on one side, hot glue on the other. I'm gluing three of these boxes or trays together. And then I took four of the wooden Jenga blocks at each end. I just glued them together. I made this long two by two rectangle here, which is just gonna be perfect to put on top of the star at each end. And not only does it cover up that little star cutout, but it actually kind of makes it look like it has a little handle on the end. So I really like the effect of that. I think it completes the look and just, you know, it makes it look more finished in my opinion. So you guessed it. Here I come with some antique wax again and just kind of creating a little bit of my wood dimension on here. Once that's dry, you're gonna take three of the little like buckets or pails. So Dollar Tree usually has ones that, I think they say flowers and garden or something like that. I could not find those. They're usually in the spring section, but if you can't find those, you could always use the one like this. It doesn't say anything on it, but it has some um, twine or like jute twine wrapped around the top. So I'm just gonna use these and I picked up some puffy stickers, puffy alphabet stickers, let me specify. <laughs> You'll need one pack for each one. So three packs of puffy alphabet stickers and three of these um, pails. And then I'm just gonna spell out the word flowers in like a little arch on here. And then once I stick those little stickers on, I press them on really well. And now we're gonna go ahead and paint over all of the galvanized metal. I did not paint the inside because nobody's really gonna see that, but I did do the outside part and I basically mixed together mostly metallic copper chalk paint, but I mixed in a little bit of my Java chalk paint, which is a dark brown. I mixed a little bit of that in there with the copper just so it wouldn't be so orangey. It would tone it down a little bit and make it a little bit more of a brown orange um, like a darker rust color and yeah i just didn't want it to be too too orangey i wanted to get it a little bit darker so get the color that you could like and if you're not happy you can just continue sponging on more paint until you get it the color that you like so i just mixed this together as i wanted sponged it on there and then i kind of went back on one or two of them and i did a second coat because i wanted to make it a little bit lighter or darker until I got them also to be kind of uniform. That was the other thing, was just trying to get all three of them the exact, or not exact, but pretty close as far as the combination of brown and copper so that they all looked pretty even and they, you know, they all looked mostly the same. Now for the flowers, you can use anything from Dollar Tree. Obviously you guys already know that. You could go to Hobby Lobby or Michaels. I am using my favorite peonies from Amazon. I'm going to link these below. I absolutely love them. I've been using them for years and every year I seem to buy more and I, I have them in like so many rooms around the house right now. It's kind of getting a little ridiculous, but these are just my favorite fake flowers ever. I actually feel like I should do a giveaway for them, so stay tuned and I will let you know in just a moment how to enter to win a pack of these flowers because I love them so much. I would love to send them to you as well. I'm actually mixing two colors in here. I've got a pink one and a peach one, and they actually have a different name than that online. They're not called pink and peach, but that's what they kind of look like. So I'm gonna link both of them down below. So in case you're trying to recreate this combination, you would be able to order both sets and get that same look. This would make a fantastic centerpiece anywhere around your home. It is so, so pretty as a spring centerpiece. I think that these colors could also work for summer and fall centerpieces and decor. They are so beautiful. And I am actually using them right now on the buffet here in my office. So if you guys have been watching me over on Rebecca Jean, I walked you through our little um, dining room to office makeover conversion. And I just think this looks so so pretty the colors are really perfect in here and I just love how this one came out so much
Okay, so I have been thinking about how I want to do a giveaway for you guys just to say thank you. So I got to thinking I have given away quite a few sets of candles, like the LED timer candles and stuff. And since we used a lot of florals in this video, I wanted to, and my last DIY that I just showed you had these flowers. So I thought, you know what? What better thing to give away than some flowers that you guys can enjoy and use in your own centerpieces. So I'm gonna do two giveaways, one here on YouTube, one over on my Instagram. So the flowers come like this. I think I have a couple random ones stuck in here. They come like this, this is like one bunch. So I'm gonna give away two bunches as a set. Now they can either be two of the same or two different ones. If you like the way the peach looks here and you like the peach and the pink mixed together, which is what I have around the house in so many places, but I absolutely love these pink ones. These are probably my favorite. So um, they're, yeah, they're probably my favorite ones. But anyway, if you like the mixed look, so all you need to do is make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, be subscribed to my channel here, Style My Sweets, and then let me know down below in the comments. Just leave me a comment letting me know that you love the peony flowers and what color you would enjoy having in color or colors that you would enjoy having in your home, the peach, the pink, some other color. There are other colors that you can get them in. So let me know if you love the peonies and what color you'd wanna get them in. And um, I will leave this giveaway open through Valentine's Day. So you have a couple weeks to enter and it'd be like a little Valentine's Day gift to you guys. So I'll pick a winner on the 15th and then contact the winner. Um, and then same thing. So over on Instagram, I'll also give away two bouquets of flowers to, to one person. So one person will get two bouquets on YouTube and then one person on Instagram will also get two bouquets of flowers. So to enter over on Instagram, just make sure you're following me over there at Style My Sweets. Find any one of my recent photos and just give it a little heart and leave me a comment letting me know what was your favorite centerpiece idea from this video. And that way I'll know that you wanna enter the giveaway and I will send the winner a DM directly and then find out what colors that you want for your flowers and all of that. So anyway, hopefully that makes sense. I'll leave all of the other details and stuff down below in the description box. So thank you guys so much for being here and hanging out with me today. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing before you go. If you haven't already, I'd love to have you here. And as always, I'm wishing you a beautiful and blessed day and I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye. And my little kimchi boy was so good. He didn't even bark the whole time I was recording. Bye, kimchi.